hear about your daughter. So you took her! No. I saw your notice at the pub. Sorry. I'm just worried sick about my daughter. I see. Tell me what happened. One minute she was there. The next she was gone. I thought she'd gone out that night. Friends said they didn't know where she was. I figured she might be in trouble. So I put up the notice. She's not the best behaved girl, but she's my only daughter. Oh, I should have taken better care of her. I'll look into it, but I can't make any promises. Oh, thank you so much. This is the Melvere Police Station. We've had a number of strange incidents lately. Would you help us look into things? Buck the shopkeeper's death was suspicious. If you're hunting monsters, let me join the fun. Now I have to run the shop. And with Mother sick. <gasps> I know. The police told me. Can you tell me more? Yes, of course. That day, Papa didn't get up at his usual time. So I went to wake him. He always gets up before me. When I got to his room, I'm barely breathing. Did your father say anything? The black thing from the cellar was all he said. Mother was asleep beside him the whole time. She fell ill from the shock of it when she finally awoke. What do I do now? I know it's difficult, but you have to stay strong. Don't give up. I'll find out what happened and do something about it. You're right. Thank you for your help. Did your father have any enemies? impossible. Papa was the nicest man you could meet, and everybody loved him. Except, maybe, Ward, his competitor. He's a miserable man who always blames his own failures on my Papa. Yes, it must have been him. He's the one. We can't assume that. I'll go find out. Yes, please do. of the other shop up and died. There's a lot of that going around lately. Did you kill him? <laughs> Are you kidding? My shop might not be doing as well as his. But that doesn't mean I killed the guy. In that case, do you know who did? Nah, I haven't got a clue who'd want the guy dead. Wait a sec. A shady bunch of characters did come by the shop the other day. Describe them. They all had dark red robes on. They offered, for a hefty fee, to curse anybody who crossed you. They were just shifty con men, so I threw them out. Which way did they go? Hmm. The sewers would be the most likely place to hide.
Yes, O oh Saruin the Great, Lord of Terror and Suffering, Father of Hatred and Decay, Source of Strife and Manipulation! Saruin? What are they trying to do? Praying to him. Time to put an end to this nonsense. We offer up to you this heart of a virgin. In exchange, give us your power, O Saruin! Stop. You who do not fear Saruin will pour out your blood to him! Seize them! Myself, if I were you, for a little while anyway. Mm -hmm. I learned my lesson this time. I wish to thank all of you for your success in destroying the underground temple of Saruin. All of the mysterious events of late proved to be the work of its followers. Thanks to your efforts, our people can live in peace. This reward is a token of our gratitude. That's all.